Now it turned into a homicide investigation after one man was found with multiple gunshot wounds passed away. Yeah, KUSI's Ed Linderman is live at the scene with more on what is happening and what may have transpired. Ed, good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. Expecting a police briefing. The homicide people are here. Uh, maybe in about 15 minutes or so, so maybe we'll have some more detail other than what we've been able to tell you. Our live location, 16th and Logan, 16th and Commercial, and a very large homeless encampment here. Uh, this is the area we've been talking about for uh, seemingly at least a year or two in terms of how much uh, this area has been overrun by the homeless, and it would appear that our victim is homeless as well based on the reaction from the community here in that a lot of people apparently knew this individual and there was a lot of emotion being displayed about 550 when all this was going down yeah 550 this morning again our live location is 16th and logan uh, whether or not this was uh the shooter knew the victim uh would appear so based on these kinds of things and unfortunately they're happening way too often in our community but what we know is uh, arriving uh, police officers found a man, uh, at least two bullet wounds uh, in the street. Officers uh, performed CPR. The uh, emergency uh, responders also included fire and paramedics, and they continued the CPR. But it was pretty obvious as the man was being transported that he wasn't going to make it. So we have a man dead. The shooter apparently on the loose. We haven't seen anybody detained in terms of the back of a police car, but there are a lot of witnesses. And we were told of various things, meaning what's being relayed to us uh, based on the uh, photographers that were here uh, initially. Uh, we came running down from another location. And what we know is that a man was detained initially. Uh, the homeless people, in addition to all the emotion they were showing over the fact that a friend had been uh, shot and killed, uh, the homeless people, a uh, num num number of witnesses here, and they said, you got the wrong guy there. Don't detain him. And so we think he's been let go, but we have seen several witnesses being talked to around the corner uh, by police officers, and now we have uniformed uh, homicide detectives here on the scene as well. And again, uh, as soon as they are uh, ready to go, uh, we're going to be uh, learning hopefully a little more, but what the little more is that the shooter apparently is still out there. One of the homeless people or several also reported the fact that the shooter handed the gun off. Uh, the details of that we still don't know. We understand they may be looking for a silver Volkswagen or, or not in terms of that was a car that was here. Uh, the gun being handed off again according to the witnesses, but there are some credible witnesses here. Uh, including an MTS guard uh, who may be able to shed some light on as to exactly what went down and whether or not it was appeared that these people, whether there, there was an exchange or maybe an exchange even before that uh, uh, between, the, uh, between the two. So again, we await a homicide uh, briefing on this. And uh, before we head elsewhere, we are hope to uh, get some more information here uh, in the 8 o'clock hour. We are live in East Village, and we are back to you guys. All right. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate it. Well, former